Hello, we're here with Stefan Bougenard, the CEO of Euronext, who's just announced his strategic plan for 2022. Stefan, thank you for taking the time to do this. Um, you've just announced your new strategic plan, uh, Let's Grow Together 2022. Um, would you like to just give us some of the highlights of, of what's, what's involved? Well, over the past three years, uh, Euronext has grown a lot. Euronext has transformed its size, its profitability. It has moved from a two billion company to a five billion market cap. Uh, its EBITDA margins has doubled over the past five years. So clearly, it's a completely different company. And what we want to do together with the teams, with our clients, with our partners, is to grow together to take it to the next level. And what does it mean to take it to the next level? It just about fostering, strengthening, preserving the efficiency of a core business, while at the same time bringing two fundamental new dimensions, a fundamental innovation component and a commitment to sustainable growth, and to make sure that uh, the, the money we, we create, the value we create, can be transformed into significant M&A situations so that we can create value to our shareholders by the combination of a very powerful cash machine and a very disciplined uh, capital deployment. Um, your headline in, in announcing the, the strategy, you said that you want to take Euronext from being a pan-European market to being the leading pan-European market infrastructure. Can you, can you explain what you mean by that? Yeah, that, that's very important. We, we have created uh, something very unique uh, with our federal model of of, of building a very large uh, pan-European liquidity pool of more than four trillion euros, uh, empowered by a, a single uh, uh, order book, empowered by uh, or enabled by a single uh, uh, technology platform. Uh, this is a great success for, uh, for, for putting together uh, exchanges. But we can do more. We can do more by uh, integrating more upstream and downstream the full uh, trading chain values. We can do more by becoming as relevant as we are on the trading front for post trades, for market data, for other asset classes. That's the ambition behind the migration from a pan-European exchange to a pan-European leading market infrastructure. Um, you talked just now about how you detained your targets for the previous plan. Um, how are you going to measure success when we get to 2022? How are you going to measure success uh, of this plan? What are your targets specifically? Well, within your next credibility is a key word, and we have a superior track record of delivering on our commitments. Uh, we have delivered or, or, or the targets of our previous plans one year ahead of schedule, and this time by uh, 2022, we want to grow a top line and we are committed to deliver a top line for the current perimeter of 2% to 3% uh, for the period. Uh, we are committed uh, to, um, to deliver uh, uh, NEBITDA margin for the group within its current perimeter uh, equal or above uh, 60%. And uh, we are also committed to continue our disciplined uh, capital deployment policy with the, with the dividend policy, which will remain uh, consistent with the one we have uh, deployed over the past three years. So that's the financial aspect. Um, you talked about um, the importance of innovation, about your people, about sustainability. Um, th those are big words. What does it mean in concrete terms for the plan? Well, it means in concrete terms, fundamental cultural transformation of the organization. We are robust, reliable uh, pan-European exchange. In order to become the leading uh, market infrastructure in Europe, we have to become much more innovative at every single level of the organization. So we are going to test more new ideas. We are going to try more in uh, new products. We are going to, to be more uh, disciplined in uh, process innovation. And we are also going to be a closer partner to the sustainable growth ambitions. All clients, all stakeholders, or partners, or investors are all uh, turning the, towards the ESG uh, dimension of, 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 of life. And, and the exchange, the market infrastructure, is a natural partner to, uh, to enable, to foster, to make uh, sustainable growth and sustainable finance more concrete. And we are going to do that in our bond territories, in our indices and, and ETF business, in our listing business. And in addition to that, obviously, we will embark into a fundamental transformation of your next internally inbound uh, uh, compliance with, uh, with the cutting edge uh, uh, sustainable uh, uh, growth uh, standards. Um, you've made some uh, sizable acquisitions recently, most notably uh, Oslo, Bourse VPS. Um, you've announced uh, synergies of uh, 12 million over the next, um, the next few years. 
Um, how are you going to achieve that? Well, we are going to achieve uh, 12 million of run rate cost synergies in Oslo because um, we believe that uh, we can uh, um, deploy in Oslo the efficiency uh, culture that we have deployed in Ireland and we have deployed in Ireland what we have deployed within your next uh, legacy business. So uh, Oslo Boss VPS is a fantastic company with great teams with a lot of uh, uh, capabilities to change and to transform uh, processes and uh, on the top of deploying there the optic uh, trading uh, platform uh, which is going to be a significant component of the cost synergies. We believe that there are all the, 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 the instruments, the, all the components there to, to deliver uh, this, uh, this amount of synergies. But in addition to those cost synergies, I also want to underline that we strongly believe that Oslo Boss can be, and Oslo Boss VPS can be the platform to, to launch uh, uh, and deploy our ambitions across the Nordic region. So we are extremely excited about the prospects of, uh, of uh, together with the Oslo teams, uh, deploying uh, our efforts and our ambitions across uh, Scandinavia. Um, you've been quite active in terms of M&A, uh, your next FX, Dublin, Oslo. Uh, now we are looking forward to the next three years. Can you give us any idea of the sort of targets you're looking for? And also, what's the firepower that you have at your, at, at, at your disposal? So you would understand that I'm not going to share today and here some specific targets. But what I can tell you is the way we are approaching uh, the deployment of our, of our capital in, in the next uh, three years. The first thing we want to do is to continue diversifying our top line and to invest in market data, in post trades, in uh, new asset classes. The second thing we are uh, determined to do is that if there is an opportunity uh, uh, arising from the will or the desire of single country exchanges to join uh, the Euronext family, then, then we will uh, uh, make such a transforming move uh, if and when they come. Uh, in terms of firepower, uh, clearly we have today uh, A- minus uh, rating with a stable outlook uh, in the context of future acquisitions. So we still have room to raise depth uh, uh, as long as we remain, as we are committed to uh, strong investment grade. But obviously, in addition to that uh, depth raising uh, potential, if uh, a significant transformation deal uh, is, uh, is available, then we will consider going to our shareholders. But what is important is that we'll do that in the context of a very strong and very disciplined uh, capital deployment policy, where we expect the transactions uh, that we make to, to deliver a return on capital in Paul above the cost of capital within the, the first three to five years of the acquisition. And all that in a context of a continuous uh, dividend policy, which uh, distributes 50% of the reported earnings to our shareholders. Uh, you mentioned your shareholders, obviously uh, your partners, your clients, your employees, the regulators, they're all very important. Would you like to end with a final word to, to everyone? Well, we have been very successful over the past uh, four or five years, thanks to uh, the, the support of our colleagues, of the teams, of the clients, of the partners, of the stakeholders, of, uh, of the regulators of Euronext. We want to, to embark into a new voyage with all of them. And my, my word to all of them is let's go together. Good. Thank you very much.